people working with steel and fabricating stuff need to calculate the weight of fabricated items and no putting it on a scale is not really always an option so before you can pick it up you need to know how much it weighs so in this video I show you how that's done in a metric and an inch based calculation the calculations gonna start with a concept that's familiar element from elementary school volume of a rectangular prism the volume was calculated because any any of these steel plates and this is happens to be just uh, three or four stainless steel these steel plates is uh, what you have on your bench before you fabricate up your components and with a little bit of imagination you can see how this was folded up so you can you can make it flat and then you can you start with flat actually you lay out your bend lines and then you bend the components and uh, make L's or or other structural shapes whatever needs to be fabricated so whatever shape you end up with doesn't matter because you start with a rectangular prism and a rectangular prism has a length a width and a height super simple with the exception that the height in this case is gonna be called thickness so let me just write it with these colors its length times width times height but I'm writing thickness the thickness with th or with t or or plate thickness pl whatever it's, it's the same concept you are gonna multiply three things actually four things together so to calculate how much it weighs it's based on volume and this volume calculation will be modified to get weight it's not modified it's just made one step longer so you're gonna mu you're gonna multiply length with width with plate gauge or plate thickness and there's one more number uh, I'm just gonna go capital D but that's not uh, diameter of anything that's density okay density otherwise in physics is abbreviated by the Greek letter Rho and it's and it makes an R, R, R sound but that's how it looks like in print it might look like a, a Latin alphabet P but it's not really it's more like a shepherd stick something like that all right uh, so that's also density so that's what you are that's the fourth item that you're gonna multiply your volume numbers by and uh, I'm gonna explain that number a little bit because the length the width and the thickness is fairly straightforward the density number here for the weight calculation is not your standard density from um, from periodic table of elements so what is used in steel calculations is the idea of a board foot this is a this is a reference to a wooden board that's one foot wide one foot long and one inch thick this is the concept uh, that is used for these numbers uh, let me explain because it's one foot long by one foot wide by one inch thick uh, your steel calculations the length will also be in feet the width is also going to be in feet and the thickness is also going to be in inches and then you have this number 40.8 by which you multiply the previous three let me show you here this example for example you have something that's two feet uh, nothing that's two feet wide would fit under the camera here but just go with it two feet wide by eight inch long two feet is width eight feet is length and thickness I don't know let's go with quarter inch how about that so you just multiply eight by two by quarter and by this number 40.8 the meaning of this 40.8 is that a board foot 
or should I call it a plate foot because now it's a steel plate this is not wood board but this much volume of steel weighs 40.8 pounds okay that's what the idea is a chunk of steel that's one foot wide one foot long and <clears throat> and one inch thick stainless or mild steel any kind of steel 40.8 pounds but that's that's an average number but you know that's pretty close you know that uh, that's a good average number so 40.8 pounds for this much volume of steel okay this is one unit and this weighs 40.8 pounds so from here on business is fairly straightforward you know just multiplying numbers 8 by sorry not 4 8 by 2 by a quarter inch because I want a decimal number times 40.8 equals 163 pounds 163.2 pounds alright this 40.8 comes from let me explain this this comes from the figure that if this shape this volume was made into a cubic foot and the cubic foot oops and the cubic foot has a width of one foot a length of one foot and a height of one foot if this was made into a cubic foot then it would have 12 layers of this in it so far so good because there are 12 inches everywhere and and as is it weighs sorry the 12 is not really important but it weighs if it's one cubic just for visualizing but if it's one cubic foot like so then it is 490 pounds on average again but it 490 is dead in the middle so the 490 for each cubic foot of steel if you uh, divide it by 12 because this amount this volume here one plate foot is one twelfth of a cubic foot if you divide the 490 with 12 because 11 layers from the cubic foot are missing here 12 inches up remember 12 inches wide 12 inches long and 11 layers of this uh, cubic foot cake is missing here so that's why 490 pounds per every one cubic foot if you divide this by this 490 by 12 you're gonna get that number that 40.8 that's where it's coming from 490 divided by 12 equals 40.8 forget the point three 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 uh, nobody cares about plus or minus two ounces or ten ounces uh, as long as it's you know 163 pounds now you know two people need to lift it or now you know what how to uh, select uh, uh, slings and uh, lifting hardware for it a metric calculation is very similar to this one of course except that it's uh, done in meters but it's also based on this kind of a concept except that it's based on a volume of steel or the weight of steel that a volume of uh, shape has that is exactly one meter wide by one meter long by one millimeter thick just one millimeter sort of like envision a big square sheet of paper because one millimeter is kind of thin and if you have it one meter wide one meter long and one millimeter thick then it's 7.85 kilograms the figure 7.85 is in a standard periodic table of elements for the density of steel but it's got a different uh, unit of measurement in steel calculation you're gonna go with this shape one meter by one meter by one millimeter so for your steel calculations length needs to be in meters width needs to be in meters and the thickness needs to be in millimeters and then you have your magic number 7.85 kilograms for for every piece of shape that's one meter by one meter by one millimeter 
so that's where that 7.85 number belongs to and likewise it's also are not 40.8 pounds 40.8 40.8 pounds for every plate foot measure okay that that one foot by one foot by one inch thick concept that's what's 40.8 pounds so uh, from here on just multiply the four numbers together say your width is two meters sorry your width is two meters your length is 12 meters and your thickness is six millimeters you multiply these three numbers with a fourth one 7.85 and you don't know how much that much steel weighs 12 by 2 by 6 by 7.85 equals 1130 kilograms 0.4 but nobody cares about the 0.4 it's a little over a ton, metric ton, a little over 2,000 pounds, so that's, uh, that's the kind of shackles and slings and chains and hooks that you need to come up with to lift that st steel plate that has a length of 12 meters, a width of 2 meters, and a thickness of 6 millimeters, all right? So that's how to do these steel, steel plate weight calculations.